Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs for SCPM. We have already finished every possible question from the modules. Time for us to be doing every little question from the BOS portal. These questions are designed so therefore you get first hand knowledge of how the examination questions will be looking like. In case you will require any help, you can always uh, message us on our telegram ID that goes by the name of at the rate agent for any course inquiries, you can always call us on 8080-324444 or there is a link in the description. You all can click on that to enroll for the course. The moment you will uh, click on that link and enroll, lectures will automatically start. Let's do chapter number one. So in chapter number one, the question for today is as a management consultant for guiding a company on analyzing its competitive position in the market, you wish to present the business activities and processes of the business using Porter's value chain analysis. Okay. So this question is all about Porter's value chain. What are the benefits of using Porter's value chain analysis for competitive advantage? Okay. There are four of them. So you have to say advantages. Management can get a better insights how to push for low cost leadership or product differentiation. I'll go one by one only. See, Porter's value chain basically tells you that a company is nothing but group of activities that it does. There are some activities that add value. Some do not add value. We classify them as value added activities, non value added. And further, there is a bifurcation on what activities you do. So therefore, you all have your primary activities and secondary activities. But by doing value chain, by identifying value added, non value added, one thing that seriously happens is that you come to be knowing that should we try to eliminate those activities that do not add value? And should we focus on those activities which actually add value? So, you know, we always say this thing that company should always try to be doing only those activities which add value from the consumer's point of view. Although one drawback of value chain is sometimes there are some activities that do add value in an intangible way, but not to the consumer. Example, you got to be having, say, a head office whereby all the infrastructure is in place. Now, that thing does not matter to the user, but then for the company, that thing is required. But leave aside this kind of a disadvantage. But one thing always remember, value chain gives you great insights that what a company should try to focus on. So a company usually will have one of these two objectives, cost leadership or product differentiation by doing the activities in a different way. It can either achieve cost leadership whereby you try to cut down the cost or product differentiation. It will try to make the products which are far different as compared to the others. Okay, this is first second. Enables a company to identify how value can be created, sustained and maximized. A thrust that sparks innovation. Now, this thing is super important. Now, Every company is there to be making profits. That is whatever by default we all think. So therefore, a uh, value can be created in many different ways. First, we can try to give better quality. We can try to be giving same quality at a lower price. Apart from that, uh, we can try to innovate the products up and so on. All these things are innovations only to be sure. Okay. Innovation might not always mean launching new products. It could be that at the current level also, we can try to reduce the cost. Okay, that will only be possible by doing some kind of a innovation. Might be using a different kind of a material, but not affecting the quality of the product. So therefore, value chain always tells you how value can be created. In fact, that's the sole aim of doing a value chain. Third, enables a company to understand the interlinkages between various processes and how change in one process can impact the other. Now, see, you all have your five uh, primary activities. You all have, in this case, your uh, four secondary activities. Value chain is a lot known for one thing that it helps you to identify how will change in one activity. Try to affect the change in some other activity. Okay, try to be thinking that we were a company that was using all manual machines. One day we all thought, let's try to be using automated machines. You all will understand one of the support activities is technology. Okay. So we brought in more technology, but that will certainly affect the morale of the human resource. That is another support activity. 
so therefore this is again one of the aims it helps you to find out the interlinkages between various activities then fourth one builds efficiency by enabling the company to identify and discontinue non value adding activities i exactly told that thing it helps you to reduce or eliminate non value added activities as i have told in uh, in my full fledged lectures also it might be in one of the previous mcqs that whenever i make the videos like this it takes me good amount of time approximately 2 and a half hours to complete every mcq the editing the text up and so on okay now whenever you watch the video you watch that in approximately 4 to 5 minutes do you ever try to be thinking that how much time does anush take to make this entire video if by using say technology i try to reduce this time of 2 and a half minutes to approximately say 30 seconds sorry 2 and a half hours to approximately 30 seconds then will it affect your viewing no because that editing time that 2 and a half hours that i spend is basically nothing but in this case a non value added activity it doesn't matter to you okay so therefore we should always try to eliminate or reduce the non value added activities that will reduce the cost but not affect the value to the user okay so first second third and fourth all of them are advantages only so options i guess i've already answered okay 1 and 2 1 and 4 1 2 and 4 all of the above i guess uh, i have already explained each and everything so therefore this in case you all want you all can pause over here and try to go through and answer should be all of the above so therefore answer should be point number 4 yeah that should be the correct answer okay that's done for today just one small request in case you wish to be watching all the mcqs of module whereby the summary concepts everything is there then you can scan this qr code it will take you to the playlist of all the questions of the module i'll see you all in the next lecture take care bye